Hey guys, LBS here again, your tech guide. So as you can see right now, my BIOS, I'm here on my BIOS setting. Um, I managed to overclock my Ryzen 1700X. Uh, the CPU speed is at 3.87 gigahertz. My DDR, my DDR speed is 2667 megahertz. Um, they are supposed to be running at 3000 megahertz, but for some reason the BIOS that I'm using here from this motherboard is not capable of uh, doing that. So this is pretty much my maximum settings I can do on the, on the RAM and the CPU. So this is pretty much my settings here. Okay. Let's go through here. I'll show you guys. So my CPU co core voltage is 1.3625 volt. And this is pretty much my setting guys. So if you haven't seen my other video, my last video that I uploaded, um, that was a 13 minutes and 44 second 4K video. That alone um, to render took me 27 minutes and all the settings was stock in there. Um, nothing was uh, overclock or anything, it was just plain stock and that's how long it took me, 27 minutes to render it. So let's do that again, we'll render it with this new settings here and we'll see how long it will take. All right, so let me just exit out from here. Let's reboot this and uh, we'll see how fast it will take us to render that video. So for the water cooling, I'm using the Corsair H110i and I was able to maintain my CPU with that overclock setting roughly between 74 to 79 Celsius during the rendering process of the video. The, uh, the water cooler is doing pretty well for um, maintaining that. I'll show you guys all the temperature for the CPU, the GPU, so you guys have an idea with this kind of overclock settings that I've got here. You guys have an idea what the temperature is like on the CPU using this water cooler. Okay, let me just set them all up here. So let me just set these settings here. Okay, we got that set up there. And then we'll pop the temperature for you guys to see. So I'm using the Corsair Link. So right now, the temperature is at 47.3 degrees Celsius with 0 to 1% load right now. Okay, so that is my settings right there. So let's open up my Adobe Premiere. Alright, so we got it open and where is that video? So this is the video that I'm going to render. The last video that I uploaded, this is the same video. That I'm gonna be rendering so as you can see this is roughly around 13 minutes and 43 seconds okay so let's render that okay, let's name some title here change this to 4k timer this is real life testing for you guys whoever wants to do um, 4k editing rendering this might interest you um, so there is my timer right there and I'm gonna press the start the export I mean and then I'll press the timer so in two one zero 
Okay, off it goes. And there we go. So the time to beat, what was that I said? It was 27 minutes. All right, so remember that time, 27 minutes. And let's check out the temperature. As you can see, the temperature has risen. We got 93% load, 73.5 Celsius on the CPU. And then our video card is at 38%. As you can see, the video card is just chilling. It's not hot. The fan's not even on. And let's see what else do we have up here. So those are the other temperature right there. All right. So we are at 6%. Oh, you know what I forgot? Okay, let me boost up my fan here, my profile. I'm gonna boost up my uh, fan to performance so we got more airflow coming in. So here we go. All right. So there it is. Hear the fan, very loud. So I won't use the fan all the time. I'm just gonna be using it when I'm rendering my video other than that it's just gonna stay quiet when I'm just browsing or doing some other light duty but we'll see what time we can beat if we can beat that 27 minutes with this new overclock setting all right let's check out my fan up here so here is my exhaust fan up here as well that is where the water water cooler is located so as you can see, I set up my fan on top instead of being underneath the water or cooler. Reason being is because of the dust, uh, the dust management. Um, if I put it underneath the cooler, it will be difficult to clean the radiator and um, more likely you will collect dust, therefore it will restrict the airflow. So I got that tip from Linus. Um, I think that is the best tip, the best idea to set it up like this, having the fan on top and then you got the radar at the bottom. So the fan is pulling upwards. And then I've got two fans in the front here. And then one fan on the back. And then of course, you have the power supply down there, which is, oops, it looks like my Galaxy S8 Plus. Just cut the video, the footage, and um, what? I just noticed that you could only record 10 minutes long on the S8 Plus 4K setting. So that's my setup. And let's see what time we are here. We are at 20. 21% and it is 3 minutes and 46 seconds Let's check out the temperature so we are at 76 degrees Celsius 76 so we are still maintaining our temperature and not getting over the 80 degrees Celsius alright guys so we are here at 47% and the time we have left or the time we have on right now is 8 minutes and 27 seconds so we're almost closing in and 50% right now and our temperature is at 77.4 degrees Celsius so it is still under 80 degrees Celsius and we are here we are at 50% right now and it is 8 minutes and 52 seconds so if we times that by 2 we should be finished roughly around 16 or 17 to 18 minutes and uh, again the last video I uploaded took roughly around 27 minutes so so far the overclocking setting is doing a fantastic job 
we roughly are cutting the time roughly around nine minutes or so so that is pretty good guys so again let's look at the temperature here so we are maintaining that temperature really really good here under 80 degrees Celsius and there it is so the temperature are the temperature on my computer right now um, it is roughly around 29.5 degrees Celsius that is just the body just the temperature the room temperature of the PC inside it's at 29.7 degrees Celsius we are at 96 percent and the time is 17 minutes our temperature is at 76.6 uh, Celsius and inside the chassis it is 30.1 degrees Celsius we are almost there 98% should be done anytime soon okay so it's 100% it is still rendering I'm just gonna put it up like that so you guys can see See the temperature as well over there all right so there you have it guys it took 18 minutes and 30 and 38 seconds um, that is a huge improvement from the last time that I got it it was 27 minutes long so again this is an overclock settings compared to the stock settings you see the difference right there it is quite a lot of difference roughly around nine minutes guys that is pretty good and our temperature was still fluctuating between what was that 76 or 79 degrees Celsius so that is pretty good pretty pretty good so that's pretty much it guys I just wanted to show you the setup of my PC here if you are into uh, 4k editing 4k video editing and stuff um, my video card I got the GeForce 1080 strikes from Asus and so far it looks like the video card wasn't even working that hard the fan wasn't even on it was mostly the CPU that was working a lot here so that's pretty much it I'll upload this video for you guys to see and if you guys have any further questions, just leave me a comment down below. And again, guys, thank you for watching. Until then, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.